At Zometry, we 3D print a lot of parts. And today, I wanted to show you how your material choice can actually affect the mechanical properties of even the same design. We designed a socket and crescent adapter using 3D CAD. We made this so we could actually build the same part in different materials, including FDM Ultim, ABS, polycarbonate, and our SLS nylon. I even threw in our FDM nylon to see how the two nylons compare. Then, we put these to the test. We put these models apples to apples together with only the materials and the build orientation changing. And we put them against this bolt to see how they held up. So from soft to stiff, we think nylon is going to act the softest, then our ABS material, then polycarbonate, and Ultima is going to act a little bit like a wild card, where it is very, very strong, but does have some pliability. So let's go to the shop, put on some safety glasses, and see what happened. So we started with the ABS M30. Had a really great snap right from the get-go. And we ended up finding that the vertical bolt stripped at the top after a close inspection. And it took a lot of prying off the wrench as well. On the horizontal side, when we removing that boot, a great snap right down the side. Both these nylon materials for our FDM and SLS had about the same result, where the parts just kind of flexed around, whether it's up at the top of the wrench or around the nut. I was even able to fully move the wrench around in a circle with the nylon 12 material. This happened for both the vertical and horizontal orientations, even though I was secretly holding out that the horizontal would actually break on us. So SLS nylon acted just about the same as the FDM nylon, where it acted soft and essentially just kind of went around the bolt freely. We even found this with both the vertical and horizontal orientations, which is to be expected. So polycarbonate was really great with some explosive results. The brake on the side here just flew away across the shop. I'm really glad we were in safety glasses for this one. Vertical orientation ended up holding up to the bolt, but not to the wrench and ended up getting some free spin out of it. But on the horizontal side, we had another spectacular snap, probably my favorite out of this whole series here, where it just broke right in half after a lot of pressure. Now Ultim took a pretty good amount of torque, which was better than I expected out of it, and it did flex around versus snapping. It's really impressive how strong this material is. I had to pull really hard to get this part to finally fail at over 100 newton meters. I ended up getting a little crack out of the side for the horizontal bolt, but even that was pretty tough to do, and just me trying to show you that crack actually took a lot of pressure to pull apart. All right, awesome, so what do we figure out? Both sets of nylon, like we predicted, were inherently flexible. So they ended up doing this thing called cold creep, where it actually just rotated within the socket cavity here. So we didn't get breakage, but we did make a round hole where there was a square hole. The ABS material and the polycarbonate both snapped with the parts built with horizontal orientation. They did have some cold creep that happened at the top on the vertical orientation, showing that mechanically this is a stronger orientation if we're trying to keep this part rigid for the socket. The wrenches, they didn't quite survive. They also snapped because of the intense pressure. What was really cool for me was the Ultim. Although I did end up getting one of these parts to actually snap on me, it took a lot of pressure. In fact, this took about 25 to 100% more torque than the other parts that we've been testing here. So if I'm building something that needs to be mechanically robust, I may choose Ultim overall, especially if it's an end-use environment. All these materials have their purpose. And for what you're designing, you can always design to the material strengths and make sure that you're compensating with your design for any weaknesses that it may have. As always, we have design guides online. It's we also have our FAQ and live engineering support, and we're always happy to help. Thank you.